So we're an interior protection business. So we do temporary dust and debris barriers suspended in a ceiling below a commercial roof replacement. Um, so what that means is we're gonna put, um, yeah, like a temporary plastic barrier. And when you tear off the old roof, um, dust and debris is gonna fall in and we're gonna catch that in our containment barrier. And then we slowly take it down while simultaneously like vacuuming the ceilings or light air washing them to make sure that no so dust is it a, pro a product or a service it's a service it's a um, service we are one of very few companies that actually do this service we've been doing it for 20 years and so we are that niche circumstance where you're who's your clients you work for contractors or yes yeah, so we subcontract for any commercial roofing business essentially is going to need us at some point in time even why if they can't do it themselves uh, well they do do it themselves until they get into an environment where they don't have enough experience to do it cost effectively and so they need to call a professional like us so we actually do millions of square feet of this temporary containment every year anything from like a toyota manufacturing facility we've done millions of square feet for them to like a small retail client that's less so than if you're the roofer and you don't want to get in trouble with like stuff falling on the computers so, huh? mm -hmm. it's right now yeah yeah it's it's a pain yeah yeah you so, do, so you, do you take do you take all liability then like yes, in, yes. Okay. we take all liability mm -hmm. so if there is like expensive car or computer or i don't know something something and it falls and destroys it it's your insurance not my insurance correct yes like, say a server? we are your insurance policy as soon like, as you hire us essentially yeah, that's cool. so yeah you'll do um nets too like yes so a lot of times you're going to expect a lot of debris to fall in so we'll hang a netting system yeah. whatever your spec would require and then we'll come in below that and hang a poly system to make sure that the fine dust doesn't Net fall through falling. it and we've had people fall through the roof and is our containment like a, catches people it's like a, well that's why i want to do it mm -hmm. um is, so is it like case a people six mil or like how, how thick is it so typically, yeah, it's it's anti-static fire retardant. It's a six mil string reinforced poly, and um, and then we've also we've got a few different options. Um, we've got this new uh, product. It's called IntelliShield. I guess you can. We've got that poster there for it, but it's actually in six foot by ten foot strips. It's connected with a a seam that actually melts away at a temperature that's right below the temperature where a sprinkler system activates. So if there was a fire in your facility, then it would fall out of the ceiling right before a sprinkler system would need to go off and it wouldn't impede the sprinkler. That's how smart. Do you, how yeah. do you, you tape the seams? Do you torch the seams? We tape the seams with a shrink wrap tape. Okay. Occasionally we would use a heat shrink, but rarely is that needed. Yeah, so here's my card. It's also like, it's a good sell as a roofer to be able to tell your customer, like, when you go in, you could say... Especially um, high end clients. Are you all nationwide? Right, yeah. So we work in 48 continental U.S. states. We've got an office here in Dallas, okay. but we're based out of Kentucky. Okay. Um, Great job in Austin. Austin? To do this. Yeah, yeah. Do so, so Rob's our guy right there, and he would be over this area that you'd be able to go look at that. And... Yeah, it's, it's a great thing. Like, we'll look at it for free. And so if you ever think a customer might want it, you could just have us come look at it, give you a quote, and then you could put it in as a line item for your customer. And he'd be like, oh, man, I do need to do that. And he'd know beforehand. Right, like whenever you've got, see, it. I've got a bunch of lightweight concrete that's totally saturated on some rusted decking, and it's going to be a mess. But um, like, if you're gonna do net and plastic together, what's an average like square foot or per square price that you can expect? Okay, so it goes anywhere from thirty cents a square foot to ten dollars a square foot. It depends on um, well, like, what's under. Like, it also probably affects like access. liability. So in an in an environment like this, we would use an aerial boom lift. But if the ceiling was a little bit higher than this and you couldn't get an aerial boom lift, we'd have to have guys walking across these beams and installing it, which we've had both of those things happen. And so in an environment like that, it's gonna be way more costly and time consuming to do that. And then also you get an, you know, an all thread, you gotta cut through every all thread and, or lights, you gotta go above the lights. And a, a small factor like that is gonna change the price from $1 a square foot to $4 a square foot.
or the material. How do you, you deal with drop install. ceilings that are too close to be able to fit the net and the plastic in between? So we install below drop ceilings. Usually you're not going to need us if there's a drop ceiling, but um, sometimes people want to add an additional layer of protection. And so we would just go along the same grid that is installed for the drop so ceiling tiles. I want to tiles. protect what's on the floor. Mm -hmm. We've got a, about a nine foot drop ceiling. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to protect what's on the ground. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of expensive equipment. Um, and so really, I don't want dust in there because I don't want to sweep. But I also want to put nets up because I don't want anything falling, falling through. Mm -hmm. What they'd like to do is be able to operate business uh, in the meantime. Mm -hmm. uh, with nine foot clearance, would you be able to put them close enough together that... Mm -hmm. And yeah. like on like just a ladder application. It would be flush feet. right up to the drop ceiling. I think I'm understanding you correctly. Because yeah, okay. we do a lot of these environments and we've yeah. done tons of drop ceilings. I was actually... So we've existed for 20 years doing these containments. I've been a part of it for seven years now. Started as an installer and now I'm in the upper management doing sales. But um, yeah, we've done a ton of office spaces uh, below drop ceiling tiles. You put the net and the plastic all within one foot so they can... It's rare that we do both netting and poly. Like I say rare, but it's one out of every 15 projects we actually put netting in. Most of the time the poly is sufficient and it's going to catch any dust or debris that you have fall in. Alright, so thanks for your time. You guys. Huh? Where can I find you guys? Yeah. Roofing Insights. Just go to... Insights. Here's my business card slash pen. You mind if I scan your badge? Yeah. Here. All my information there too. Just go to YouTube, type Home Advisor, and see my face five times. <laughs> see Home it? Advisor? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I really appreciate your all's time. All right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.